Today we've got 3rd Gen Ryzen news, a new RX 580, and what's up with this 2070 Ti? Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. AMD's 3rd generation Ryzen is definitely the most exciting CPU launch since, well, Ryzen's original release last year. The transistor size will be nearly cut in half, and it brings some serious improvements in everything from clocks to performance. Well, today we have our first hard numbers on that performance increase. Keep in mind that this is more or less a rumor, but the author of it has been quite accurate many times in the past. Bits and Chips tweeted that Zen 2 will have a 13% IPC increase over Zen Plus. Now, before you get upset, 13%? That's crap. Andy sucks. Ugh. IPC stands for Instructions Per Cycle and isn't the overall increase in performance. It's a performance difference when you have the Zen 2 and Zen Plus CPUs at the same clocks, which means the numbers get much higher with higher clocks, and Zen 2 CPUs will have higher clocks. Notice he also said specifically in scientific tasks. That's important, because instructions per clock are completely application dependent. It varies on how well a given application can utilize the architecture, so that 13% is an average, and it can be different in games, and actually will be in a per game basis. But regardless, this is great news. A 13% IPC increase is huge for a single generational change. Intel certainly hasn't done anything like that in a long time. And speaking of huge things, don't forget about the Gamer Mode giveaway. All you have to do is make sure to subscribe to the channel and visit the link in the description. Next up, while sticking to AMD, the company, uh, just why? Similar to what they did with the RX 560 and what Nvidia has done with their 1060 line, AMD is now offering a nerfed RX 580. Before I continue though, don't get too upset. Currently it's only in the Chinese market, but there is always a chance it could move elsewhere, so it's good to be aware. Either way, originally reported by Anantech, there's an RX 580 with 32 compute units on AMD's China website. It's called the RX 580 2048 SP, or Stream Processors, which is how many SPs it has. And if you know your AMD specs, that's exactly what's in the RX 570. Oh, and the nerfing process doesn't stop there. While still higher than the RX 570, the 580, I'll call it nerfed edition, has a base clock of 1168MHz and a boost of 1284. Compare that to the original 1257MHz base and 1340MHz boost. It still has 8GB of GDDR5 memory, but this is clearly a heavily stripped down RX 580. Now, obviously more choice isn't inherently a bad thing. The problem with these cutdown models is how many times they're very vaguely differentiated. If third-party AIBs sell this card, it's doubtful they'll call it something as obvious as RX 580 2048 SP. No, it'll more than likely be as vague as it can be, so that great deal someone thinks they're getting may not be as great as they think. With that said, there is a decent chance it'll stay a Chinese exclusive. At least that's the hope. We really can't be sure though. Lastly, there were some earlier rumors of an RTX 2070 Ti that originated from this Gigabyte Aorus Halloween ad, which states, well, exactly that. Well, it's confirmed to be a typo. Speaking in the Reddit post that started it all, a Gigabyte representative dispelled the rumors while expanding on why it flat out couldn't happen. So yeah, not to burst anyone's bubble, but it just isn't coming, at least not anytime soon. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Bummed about the 2070 Ti or just ready for Ryzen? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget about the giveaway. You can check that out in the description below. And as always, have a great day.